Why do you feel like you don't fit in? Hi guys, want to jump in and do a little quick chat on um, not feeling like you fit in. Right now we are going through a lot of change and transformation, waking up, and so you may not feel like you no longer fit in. You, maybe you felt that for a long time and maybe you're just re-experiencing it, bringing it into your awareness <laughs> from this point of view. But as we're going through these changes in the timeline, the dynamics are that we don't fit in. And there's purpose to that, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> You know, a lot of people that come in and um, maybe they've always had that feeling, like I said, or maybe they're just starting to as we're evolving and moving up, a lot of people are waking up and they no longer have their footing, their grounding because they've fit in and now they're reawakening to their true self where they don't fit in. And so part of that is the forgetting of itself, of who you are and where you come from and why you came here. And then evolving into the fitting in, uh, trying to make yourself fit into this little box, uh, which is the forgetting of itself, not remembering itself, uh, which I did a video on that. So when we don't remember ourselves, we forget ourselves. And then we are reawakened to the remembering of ourselves, out of the forgetting ourselves. And that's the dynamics that we're going through right now on many different levels, which is allowing us to take ourselves higher on a perspective of self, which is a changing of the dynamics within our lives. And so from that perspective, we're able to see it from a higher perspective. And then the knowing of not fit in is because you're not meant to, right? And so that's why you're failing it. You're not meant to fit in. Well, none of us are meant to fit in. But we don't remember ourselves coming into the human form to fit in and to navigate the world from the human perspective. And then the awakening, which is we're going through a lot of it in the last few years and the years ahead, you know, we're reawakening to our true self. And so you're going to feel like you don't fit in because we don't. We're not meant to be here uh, in this way as fitting in. Uh, we come here to make change. And those who are awakening to the why you don't fit in is you're not supposed to. You're supposed to be here to make change. So those who are having that realization, I don't fit in, it's okay, right? You're not meant to fit in. You're meant to make change. And so how can you make change? by not trying to fit back in, right? Make change. What is in your life that you're seeing in your life? Why are you here? Why are you meant to not fit in? Why are you here to make change? How are you to make change? And evolve from that point of view. Allow yourself to be in that space of time and just taking a look at your life instead of worrying about fitting in with others, right? Your soul came here to do something more than to just fit in some people just come to and they have that role doesn't mean it's your role doesn't mean that's who you are that doesn't mean why you've come here and although we force ourselves to try to fit in that's not our divine purpose right and so those people who are not fitting are feeling the call to make change to your lives right to make your life who you are how you want to live your life how you want to be in the world how you want to show up what is your life dynamics? What is the change that you're meant to make? Is it on a micro level? Is it on a macro level? Um, where are you trying to fit in and don't do it? <laughs> you know, where are you not fitting in? Which is the change, right? And so that's allowing you to see from that point of view. So taking a look at your life instead of suffering it and look at it from a point of view, I'm here to make change. I'm not here to fit in and accept your role in your reality of why you're here. You're a dynamic change, right? And so your personality isn't to fit into others' perception and perspective of who, or sh who you should be to live in the box of the human version, right? And so some come here to be the human version, the box, um, but some come to make change, which is our evolution. And so the evolution is change that we see in the world. Gandhi says it, you know, be the change in the world. And so for those who are waking up to the dynamic that I don't fit in is the change. You are the change, right? You are the one that is going to be the change in the world, right? And so you live from your true self, not who or what they want you to be um, as you are to them. 
So make those changes in your life on all the different levels that you can make change and be the change in the world and speak up, speak out, you know, bring forth what your soul wants you to do to make change, right? And don't try to fit in because you're just going to hurt yourself and others because you're here to make change. That's why we don't fit in. And actually, none of us actually fit in. We're just not at that point where we're awakening yet. And so you have an advantage over those who are not awakening and having that feel or call that I don't fit in, right? And so as we evolve, they will at some point have that calling to not fit in and to make the change in the world. And that's how that evolves, right? It's the changing of the world. The pattern is always how can I evolve on my own level my own awareness of where I am in this place, this time, and valuing myself, right, and to bring myself forward, whatever that is going to be for you, because we're all here to make change on a different level in awareness. And so when you're being called, you know, answer that, you know, don't try to stuff it down and try to fit in and then allow yourself to forget yourself again, which is to not remember. And so it's a change that takes effect on every level and every dynamic, on every perspective for that experience for that soul uh, to bring that forth through you. So there's a reason why that you're feeling the call that I don't fit in, that you're having the experience I don't fit in and I don't know where to go, what to do. Take a look at your life. Start on that dynamic. Ask, tune in, meditate, doing some self-work. Where is it that I need to make change? Is it myself or is it in the world? Right? And then even from that point of view, you know, when we make the change within ourselves, we make the change outside because you are the dynamic that makes the change. When we change ourselves, our view, our perspective, it's projected outwardly. So you are changing the outward world as you're changing your inner world, right? And so when we're being the outside world in, um, we're forgetting who we truly are, right? We're taking in the world. We're being of the world. Um, instead of, you know, how, how is it said? Um, we're being... Of the world and not in the we're in the world and not of the world or something like that i forget the saying and so that's what it is when we're taking in from our outside world in we're being of the world we're not being in the world and not of it so change those dynamics dynamics be yourself first who you truly are not trying to fit in but be who you are speak out do whatever it is that you need to do whether it's on a micro level or a macro level and be the change in the world that you want to see Right? So stand up, be your true self, and allow that to flow through you, and you'll be able to see what that is and why you don't fit in, why you came here to be the change. And so from that point of view, even if you're making that little change within yourself, you know, you're making a big change in the world outside of you because we're all reflected out and we're all part of the one system, the one whole um, that we're coming. And so answer the call that you're being called to. So allow yourself to be the change in the world that you're meant to be by not fitting in. And just being okay is the first step. Accepting your reality <laughs> that you have the, enough awareness to know that you don't fit in. A lot of people don't have that and that's not their calling right now to step out and step up you know, of who they truly are at some point in their lifetime, whether it's this lifetime or next lifetime, they will as they're evolving. But right now it's for you, for those who are feeling not to fit in. Right? And there's a reason and purpose behind it. If you need help with that, understanding, reach out. I do do one-on-one -one sessions um, to help you to understand that on a different level. But don't allow yourself to suffer that um, awareness. It's a good thing, right, that you're not fitting in. That just means you need to create something new for yourself, right? Um, and as the, that evolves, you know, those things are falling away. And that's part of the not fitting in because... Those things used to be where you were. They are no longer where you are now. And so you don't need those things. And so you don't fit in to those things, right? And so the point of projection is where we are in the present moment. And so if we're needing something, it comes to us because we're attracting it to us. If we're not needing it, then we don't need it. And so we, it falls away, right? It's all attraction from that point of view of where we are and what we're choosing, which is the dynamics of life that we're creating, manifesting. And so from the point of view that we have to fit in, we have to be this, and we have to be that, and we're not being our true selves. We're taking in of the world unto ourselves to be on, of the world, um, not in the world and not being of it, right? And so it's the dynamics of taking our power back, 
our trueness, our awareness, and stepping out from the box um, of what we've been put in by others and ourselves because we're trying to fit in from, for that purpose, right? Because that's what we've all been trained into as children coming into this evolution and world because we don't know any better as a child. And we end up for, you know, not remembering who we are over time because we're being projected into this reality, this framework of the human existence. You know, you go to school, you have these friends, and you get married, and you do this, and you do that. When really, you, your soul may not even want any of that, right? Uh, but to make change, to make this world a better place, to have a different experience, to break up the dynamics of what was, is to change, right? And so you want to embrace that, not look at that as a bad thing, and why I don't fit in, and then suffer the consequences because your soul is calling to you, source is calling you to be the dynamic change that you're supposed to be uh, for yourself and for others in the world, right? And so be the change maker. Allow yourself to do that. Um, accept it, honor it, and be true to yourself and love that, right? Accept your role and play in this world as you are and be true to yourself uh, on the highest level, right? And so that is your direct connection with source, right? So meditate. Tune in, go out into the uh, nature, take walks in nature, uh, find out what that is for you as an individual soul connected to source, your oneness, not based on you know, the world around you, because they're just going to force you into fitting in again, you know, um, talk you out of who you're supposed to be, you know, in the world as you came in to be for your soul's purpose, right, which is part of you. Right? You're part of that dynamic. You're, it's a part of who you are. The soul is taking up your body to be of who you truly are from that point of view in that dynamic uh, reality. So allow that to come through for you um, and allow yourself to be uh, blessed by it, not suffer it. It's not a bad thing. So allow yourself to evolve through and allow and express itself in the highest form that's possible, not the lowest, right? And so... Um, don't beat yourself up. Don't stress about it. Don't suffer it. Just follow your inner guidance. Tune in. Meditate. And see where it takes you. Follow it. Allow yourself to be present, happy, blissful, that you have your divine calling, your soul um, inspiration. Everything is there for you. You just have to jump on the path to awakening. right? And so you're already on the path. I would say just keep going. right? And don't get caught up in what's falling away what is dematerializing um, is all for uh, the reason, right? And so when those things happen, you know, of course we don't feel like we fit in, right? And it, they're not, we're not supposed to, right? And so allow yourself to be with that in the present moment. Hopefully that helps. Uh, happy journeys. If you have any questions or want to book a session, uh, definitely reach out. Uh, we can set up a one-to-one -one session. Happy journeys.